This is Senator Lisa Murkowski. Let's listen in. A target of what happened. Mm -hmm. Can you just sort of mm -hmm. take us to the chamber and what you're thinking? Are you angry? Are you, how I'm, do you feel? I'm angry, I'm disturbed, I'm sad. Um, as you say, we're reliving this. We lived it once and that was awful. And we're now reliving it with a more comprehensive timeline. I know what I was feeling in the Senate chamber when I could hear those voices. I knew what it meant to be running down this hallway with my colleagues. I wasn't fully aware of everything else that was happening in the building. And so when you see all the pieces come together, the um, just the total awareness of that, the enormity of this, the, the threat, not just to us as people, as lawmakers, but the threat to, to the institution and, and what Congress represents, it's, it's disturbing, How much greatly disturbing. The, the managers today have been trying to make the case that this was completely Donald Trump's doing. Do you agree with that? I think that, that the House managers are making a very strong case for a timeline that laid out very clearly with the words that were used, when he used them, how he used them, to, to really build the, the anger, the violence that we saw here in this Capitol. Is there any doubt in your mind as you watch that? They called it a drumbeat. Um, with regard to what was happening, the, the, they built, like you said, a timeline. Is there any doubt in your mind that Donald Trump incited an insurrection? I am looking at what we are seeing now. I have, I have said that I will look to the evidence that is presented. The evidence that has been presented thus far is pretty damning. But I also know that I have an obligation, a responsibility, and one that I accept to listen to what the defense will present. And so we'll have an opportunity to do that in a day or so. But uh, today, again, I think the, uh, the series of uh, videos that we've seen, again, a reminder of what we all lived through and unfortunately, what some did not live through is is greatly, greatly disturbing. Do you have concerns if, if the Senate does not act and bar Donald Trump from running from office again, that he could run again and that he could incite the similar, same mob of supporters here? Frankly, I don't see how I don't see how after the American public sees the full story laid out here, not just in one snippet on this day and another on that, but this whole, this whole um, uh, scenario that has been laid out before us, I just, I don't see how uh, Donald Trump could be reelected to the presidency again. I just, just don't see one, that. One uh, bit of help. You're under no pressure, or are you, from your leadership? To no, vote a certain no, way. none, none whatsoever, none whatsoever, okay. absolutely not. You feel free to vote your conscience. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you, Senator. Thanks, Appreciate your time. Strong words there from Republican Senator Lisa Murkowski. One of five Republican senators voted not to dismiss this case at the outset. Also voted to continue with the trial yesterday, saying she believed the constitutional issues were not uh, at issue. But you heard her say right there that the evidence so far put together by the House managers is damning. She's going to keep an open mind. Listen to what the president's lawyers have to say, but she says the evidence so far is damning. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.